So have you ever been listening to Whitney Houston's classic song, I Have Nothing, and found yourself thinking, wow, this would make a great Pears figure skating routine? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe not. I don't know. But it turns out one of our next guests has. Check this out. The concept for the skate is you're a cool individual, OK? And I'm a cool individual. So it's like we both are cool. So the beginning is like, oh, we think she's the hot girl. Yeah. I'm hottie on the street. Oh, there's another hottie in town. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, da, na, 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 sexy opening, da, da, da. I'm skating, I'm hot, I'm beautiful. And then a spotlight comes. A spotlight. <laughs> oh my God. Please welcome to the social creator and star of the new Crave original series, I Have Nothing. Let's also add choreo choreographer to that list, Carolyn Taylor, and a more <laughs> tell you how much of a fan I am. I just have to say that this whole docu, I mean, you call it a docu comedy, and I had yeah. to keep going back to double check, like, what genre am I watching? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not actually sure. Um, okay, you are not a trained figure skater, correct? Correct. Um, <laughs> not a choreographer dancer at all? No. Um, so this obsession with like figure skating and specifically choreographing a figure skate yes. show, yes. where did this come from? It just came in a flash. Did, has anyone had this experience? Like, I literally was driving and I heard the song. And I mean, it came out in the 90s, right? 92. And, and we've all heard, you know, Whitney Houston before. But in that moment, it was as if I was hearing it for the first time. So in the car with my girlfriend and, and it came on. I'm like, oh, this needs to be an Olympic level pairs figure skating <laughs> routine. And I'm like, I could hear the jumps. I'm like, do you hear the jumps? Do you hear them? And, and then I couldn't get it out of my head. And a couple years later, I put it on stage to show an audience and be like, this is what I'm hearing. Are you seeing yeah. this? And I jump around. May, we did that. Yeah, I mean, we're on stage. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, God. I remember seeing Carolyn do it the first time, this routine on stage. And it was like the audience was under a weird spell where they thought she was actually landing axles. Like, she would just go like this, and they'd all be like, and it was like, what is happening? <laughs> May, you, you described Carolyn's energy, and I quote, as chaotic. Mm. <laughs> what did you think wow. when, when you first hear this idea? What did you think? And did you think she was serious? And is she serious? <laughs> well, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I think um, because I was seeing it in the context of a comedy routine, I thought it was genius and yeah. hilarious, but I could see there was like a flicker of, of delusion in there as well. Like a, there's, a, there's like a slight madness of like, no, yes. I really can do this. And then, um, and then when the show got greenlit, we uh, we were all shocked and in awe. And, I mean, it, it, it used to be part of the stand-up like, where I'd say, and one day I'm gonna pitch this and the network's gonna say, yes. okay, and the, the audience is like, ah! Yeah, but I was, I mean, knowing Carolyn for so long, I wasn't surprised. She's a powerful manifester and has a very contagious enthusiasm for things, so I wasn't too shocked, but yeah, it's, it, she's definitely serious. Oh my God, well, uh, in the series, you guys call in some serious skating legends, mm -hmm. including yes. Olympians, David Peltier and Katerina Gordieva. Like, Gordieva, this is, yeah. This Gordieva. is yeah. huge. Carolyn, what was the learning curve like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that was like oh yeah that like race the learning horses. curve like not for you but for them uh, oh. being led by you as their leader well, essentially their yeah. choreographer well they I mean admittedly these are like gold medal Olympians right like they ha they were they were like okay are you serious they thought actually at first that they were going to be choreographing me <laughs> <laughs> and I was like no 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 it's me choreographing you and they're like oh about the same like yeah. it's the same level of absurdity and so they but they did surrender to the process it took a while to like build the relationship and yeah. stuff because they're trained like they're precision they are like racehorses they you know they're and I'm all like let's play <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. you know so it took a while for us to find each other but then we we really did yes <laughs> yeah I have to say the supporting cast of characters in this show is absolutely delightful the kind of people that stay with you they're there's Trudy the psychic mm -hmm. and Polly the ice technician oh, yeah. uh, with his words of wisdom, which I love. Oh. Dreams are tough. Really, it really did stick with me. And it feels like sometimes as adults, we give up 
mm -hmm. on our dreams. Mm -hmm. But yeah. we see Carolyn do this epic thing that you've been passionate about mm -hmm. for a very long time. There's mm -hmm. a lot of beauty to that. Mm -hmm. So May, watching this process with your friend, um, what did you take away from this hero's journey now that you're both sort of on the other side of it? It really is a classic hero's journey where there's like a call to action. Like Carolyn felt this call to do this thing, you know, and then I think it really, there's no cynicism there. There's no irony. Like maybe in the beginning, we, mm -hmm. we went into it thinking it was going to be more of a, a comedy series and then it became so serious and heartfelt and, and poignant and watching it takes a lot of confidence to, to do that and you inspired confidence in people who are pros at what they do and, and they really did like in the final episode I'm there backstage and I'm seeing Kurt Brown and go up and ask like so should I be on the left for this and I'm like what is happening like, this is, like, it happens a lot that you literally look to camera and like, you're like what's happening it's like everyone was yeah. under a spell like it was but that's a great way of yeah, describing it yeah. under a spell it's beautiful but it was you know, very beautiful yeah it was beautiful to yeah. say the least uh, May while we have you here it was recently announced that you made the time 100 <laughs> next yes. 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 I mean crazy. you <laughs> amazing yeah. Elliot Page penned some amazing words about you as well, and they say that part of your brilliance is that you remind audiences about what being alive is all about, to Whoa. be our full, authentic <laughs> selves. Okay, people watching us right now, you know, big question, what is your advice for people who say, you know, I want to step into my, quote, authentic self? What is that? Mm. Well, I think it ties into to this show as well, which is I think so often we're told like to, to be strong and, and get out there and take no prisoners. And I, I, really there's such a strength in vulnerability and in being open mm -hmm. about your vulnerability. That's in, in my own career in life, like that's what people respond to when I'm open about that. It's so universal and with something like this, it's such a specific dream that you have. It's so <laughs> niche and so specific, but it's so universal because everybody can relate to that kind of mm -hmm. self doubt and passion and ambition and yeah. So it's, I think it's, there's strength and weakness. That's mm. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That is so, so much fun. Hey, audience, listen up. I Have Nothing, it drops tomorrow, 9 p.m. on Crave. You will binge it the way I did, I promise you. It is hilarious. Uh, thank you again, both, for being here. Thank you. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.